This is the resonator box. Within this box, you'll also find the vibrato wings. If, in fact, you ordered a vibrato with your instrument, uh, that would be an Omega. If you ordered it without vibrato, it would be an Omina. Sorry about that, but that's the name. Um, so the white stuff is just a film covering for protective, um, it's a protective surface and you can grab the edge and peel that all off and then it'll look like that. It'll look gloss black once you peel off the protective uh, coating on there. And you'll see on there there's some felt pads and some polyethylene uh, slippery surfaces and a couple of uh, nylon bushings. Set them aside, we'll use those later. Then in the box we've got the two sets of resonators. Uh, I'm just going to pull the first set out. This happens to be the Naturals and the Dead Giveaway, pardon me, don't be offended, but you know it's got all the plugs so it's going to be Naturals. Believe it or not, once in a blue moon a customer calls up and says, wait, some of the resonator plugs are missing and it turns out they've got the Naturals and the Sharps swapped out for some reason. You can see in here, these are the tunable resonator plugs. Uh, you can get supplemental information on this at some other places on the Mostly Marimba site some um, materials, uh, some videos by Tom Burrett and by Joe Locke and um, I think Tony Maselli probably has one also now. But in any event, this is the way you tune. You loosen this about a turn or a turn and a half, slide it in or out, and even a millimeter will make a huge difference, particularly up in this register. Down here you might have to you know, go two or three millimeters or the equivalent of like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch to make a significant difference. But the way they're shipped, they're shipped uh, for a, uh, with that tuning stick that we showed you earlier for about 68 to 70 degrees. If you get much beyond 70, 172, 73, you might want to retune. If you get much below 68, you might want to tune also to bring the volume of the instrument up. So the tuning stick will always enable you to get back to ground zero. You just put the tuning stick in there and the line should align with the edge. Now you see also this little thing here. Um, there are two of these on each set of resonators. These are wing guides, and not everybody needs them, but if you're a real heavy player and you really hit the instrument hard, you can get the wing to start to vibrate, or if you play a rhythm uh, just on one note uh, really, really loudly, you can get the wing to start to vibrate. And this prevents the wing from actually tapping uh, on the resonator. So if you're a, a medium player, light player, normal player, you can actually pull these out if you want, uh, or just leave them in, whatever you think. In this box, we've got the harp, folding legs, and the bottom crossbar. So I'm going to take that out and set it aside for now, right next to the resonators and the other parts. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. Okay, we're going to tilt this up just to show you what's inside there. And um, you can take it out by yourself, just pull it out, or have a friend hold the box down while you slide it out. There we go.